the James Webb Space Telescope continues making significant progress toward launch. Designed to look back in time to when the first stars and galaxies were forming after the Big Bang, the Webb Telescope promises to provide scientists and astronomers an unprecedented view of the formation of the universe. Having completed its mission design review and initial development stage, the telescope now is entering the full-scale manufacturing phase of its development, including progress in the following areas. At Marshall Space Flight Center in Alabama, completed primary mirror segments are undergoing thermal vacuum testing, three segments at a time. Webb's primary mirror will consist of 18 of these beryllium segments, which will be cycled through the thermal chamber twice each. At Northrop Grumman Aerospace Systems in Redondo Beach, California, Webb's SunShield, designed to keep the telescope's optics cold and to prevent extraneous light from entering the optical train, is being evaluated using a full-scale test article. The SunShield is comprised of five layers of material called Kapton, which will be coated with aluminum on one side to reflect sunlight and silicon on the other side to dissipate heat. Webb's mirror segments are also being tested and scrutinized at L3 Tinsley in Richmond, California. The mirror segments are highly polished on the reflector side and honeycombed for lighter weight on the other. Mounting points for attachment of control actuators are installed on the rear of the mirror elements. All of Webb's mirror elements are being tested at Tinsley, including this secondary mirror, the only one of Webb's elements that is convex, the tertiary mirror element, a concave ellipse, and the fine steering mirror are being tested in this thermal chamber to determine if the mirror can withstand the extreme temperatures it will experience in space. Work also is progressing on development of the Webb Telescope's ground system at Northrop Grumman. The ground system simulates telemetry from the spacecraft, so engineers can perform what-if scenarios to solve any potential on-orbit problems. At Ball Aerospace in Boulder, Colorado, the hexapod structures, the basis for Webb's mirror actuators, are being installed on mirror elements. These hexapods and actuators allow Webb's mirror elements to be moved in six different ways, ensuring that the primary mirror always has an optimum surface. Finally, the mast boom mechanism that deploys Webb's sunshield is being developed at Northrop Grumman Astro Aerospace in Goleta, California. The boom deploys much like a telescoping radio antenna and is powered by a device called a stem dispenser. The stem deployer extrudes a steel material, much like a tape measure, that is stowed flat but curves into a tube-like structure when extruded. The material is very light but strong and can be retracted into the dispenser as well. All these aspects of the Webb telescope are well on their way to being integrated into the world's next great space observatory.